Okay, boom fans back again. As you can see, I just finished the video uh, laying out the hammer, scorpion, sting. And now I'm going to uh, talk about the layout of the CUDA Power Core. I called it by the right name this time, not the CUDA C. Uh, I remember the CUDA C when it came out, and uh, a lot of people love that ball. Yeah, that was a long time ago. But anyway, all right, so we'll talk about this ball. It's also a symmetrical ball, but it is a solid. So let's look at the specs on this ball. So I've seen some videos of some guys throwing this, this ball and uh, it looks super good. So I'm looking for another solid symmetrical. I've got the uh, damn good Verge, a uh, great bowling ball, uh, but I want another option. It's really the only solid symmetrical ball I have. So much of what I use is pearl. Um, so yeah, I needed another solid symmetrical. So I decided to go with the Cuda C, uh, and that's what we're going to talk about laying out. Once again, I really haven't thought much about what layouts to put on this ball yet. So I'm going to basically go over what I'm, my thought process is as I figure it out. So uh, burgundy and black. Uh, I've seen some videos of it. It gets shined up uh, and looks pretty good. Uh, it's not an ugly bowling ball. It's just dull, you know, dull bowling balls versus shiny bowling balls. But uh, it comes at uh, 500 and 1500 micro pad i don't know i'm gonna have def definitely throw it and see if i can throw it at 1500 um typically 1500 is pretty strong for me and pretty early for me but i don't know a lot of people like the bowling ball so i don't know if they change the cover or not but i'm gonna try it cover the box cover or the box finish first and see what see what i think and then of course that'll be in the video also um i didn't mention it in the last video but you hopefully have seen by now I'm going to also include in this video, the, as far as the layouts and the discussion, the uh, drilling of it. So uh, I'll have layout, why I'm laying it out that way, and then actually drilling the bowling ball in one video. And then in the next video, uh, I'll have uh, my reaction, uh, me bowling, and seeing if my guess is right with the layouts and stuff. So uh, if I'm lucky, I'm right on most of them. I'm not going to be right on all of them. I don't think I ever am, but I'm right on a lot of them. So uh, we'll see if I can keep that string going. But anyway, okay. Cuda, Cuda Power Core by Columbia 300. Once again, first thing I do, I go to Columbia 300's website, look up the specs on it. As I said, 500 and 1500, 1500 grits, pretty strong for your typical pattern, for your typical house pattern to a school bowl league on. Um, RG rating 2.50 and it's right in the middle right in the middle range so as I talked about before the higher the RG farther down the lane it gets uh, before it starts reading the lane lower the RG earlier it starts reading the lane or starts going into its motion um, this 1500 grit will also be another variable that'll help the ball get into a, a roll earlier so keep that in mind uh, 0.047 uh, differential right around that medium differential as well uh, so we got the medium RG medium differential um, don't know much about the cover other than it's a solid and it comes with 1500 grit so I'm probably gonna stay kind of safe on this one just because I don't know really for sure I just want another but I just want another symmetrical solid so I'm probably gonna stay something like a four inch pin probably once again the first number doesn't matter on this one so i'll probably do 50 again just to stay safe and then on the back number probably 45 maybe 50 so 50 by 4 by 50 that's probably a good number once once again that's how i come up with it just kind of guessing how that's going to be um i'm going based off some videos i've seen people throwing it um kind of what i want it for i want it for if I'm at a place and I'm on fresh and uh, I want to be able to use this ball, then that's what I want it for. I, I don't think I'm using this ball late in a tournament or if the lanes broke down and it's wide open. Uh, that's not what I'm drilling this bowling ball for. I'm drilling this bowling ball for if I need a symmetrical ball that's strong early. That's what I want to do this ball. So I'm going to stay right in that safe range, uh, 50 by 4 by 50. So we'll do that. And we'll run through these lines like we just did the last one. Here we go. This one's got dot technology. Awesome. I, uh, I, I truly 
did not realize how what I was missing out on with dot technology until I started being able to use it. So dot technology, if I haven't if you haven't caught me saying it before, means I can put that pin anywhere on my layout, and not worry about it. If it don't have dot technology, you need to keep the pin at least an inch away from, I think it's an inch. Don't be mad at me if I'm wrong. Pretty sure it's an inch. I know you need to keep it away from your holes. So if the pin gets too close to the hole and it don't have dot technology, it's possible to crack and I think it, it voids the warranty. So it's bad. This dot technology, and the reason I know that is because the inside of the pin, there's nothing there. Versus this one is not have dot technology because the pin is enclosed. So anyway, that's that. Now in this ball, in this particular case, not going to matter. I'm not going to put the pin where my holes are anyway. But in case I wanted to, it's awfully nice to be able to have that option. So we'll go ahead and get our first line on here again. These pro sex just really suck up this uh, pencil. Anyway, okay. All right, I had to sharpen it a little bit. All right. Go to that center of the CG, dead center of the pin. Start there. All right, there's our first line. Once again, we're going to do our first angle that really doesn't matter any on this ball, but we'll do it anyway. Yeah, that's that. Zero on the pin. Spine on the line. Find 50. Mark 50. Make that line. Now you've got a 50 degree angle, right? 50 degree angle. I said I was going to do four, right? That's probably good. So I'll come down four off my pen and make a mark. So there you go. That's my pen to PAP distance. Now I'm going to stick my zero on the mark I just made. Make sure my spine is on my line. And I'm going to mark my next one, which is also going to be 50. I think I said 50, right? Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm questioning myself. That last one. I'm going to change it. I'm going to go 40. So 50 by 4 by 40. Yep, 50 by 4 by 40. See how I do that? Just change it. Uh, I don't know how much a difference that would have really made. It's really more of uh, just my me being psycho and overthinking things. But uh, I feel better about it now, so we can move on. So 50 by four by 40, right there. Now I got my VAL line again. And as I was saying, I'm three quarter down. So I'm gonna come down three quarter on my VAL line, make me a mark, put my spine up on my VAL. So that I can come over five and five eighths. I wish I could get my track down further, but still working on that. So got my spine on my BAL, and I'm gonna come down to five and five eighths, which my eyes are bad again. So I think that's right. Make me a line. Yep, five and five eighths. I'm going to double check myself so I can see it a little better because of my bad eyesight. Uh, that was a little off. It's okay. I'll fix it right now. Five and five eighths right here. Okay. In the big scheme of things, if I'm off on stuff like that part by an eighth of an inch, it's not going to matter. But you want to strive every time you're laying a ball out be as close to perfect as possible so the intention is to be perfect and not just get in the habit of not giving a shit because if you go down that road of not giving a shit slowly but surely your quality of layouts will get worse and worse and worse and you don't want that so here we go again this time I went 50 by 4 by 40 and my layouts gonna be like right here so as you see that, let's take a look. 50 by 4 by 40. So what 50 is going to do? Nothing. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, 4, it's right in that middle range of flare potential. It's going to give me plenty of flare. Kind of strong. That's okay. I want it for early. I don't want it for late. 
uh, and then 40 on the back, which I was going to do 50. Uh, 40 on the back will be right in that middle range again. Um, not too crazy off the spot. Once again, I don't really expect to use this ball late. I could be wrong. But my idea is that I use this on fresh or something like that or lanes that give me plenty of, of uh, oil or whatever. So um, I don't want anything crazy out of this ball. I just want it to go through the pins correctly uh, when there's oil on the lane. You know, uh, sometimes when they're, they're playing tighter or whatever, I switch to asymmetrical. Uh, but sometimes uh, asymmetrical is not the answer. And sometimes I got to have a symmetrical strong solid. Well, that's what I'm hoping this is going to be. So that's what we're going to give a shot and we'll go from there. So on to the next one.